good today? You feel good today. Uh, I feel fantastic today. Oh, you feel fantastic today. Oh. Why do you feel fantastic today? Because today is Friday and today's dinner. We will go outside and um, we will eat for dinner and Mama forever. Oh, Mama forever. Yes. That is uh, the restaurant name. Mm. I see. How about Papa Forever? Oh! <laughs> and also, uh, my tomato is grow up. Um, that is in my house. And um, that tomato's name is Mato. Mato. Oh. I see. Who gave the name Mato? Me. Oh, I see. I grow I up. Uh, um, I grow that tomato at uh, the May. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. All right. Okay. So, what did you do today? I went to the. Um, I went to my piano academy and um, I have a violin lesson with a big violin. I see. Okay. All right. You should give your name. Uh, you should give your vi You should give your violin a a, a name. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Um, I will, I will, um, name, I will give the, uh, violin name at, uh, Monday. Ah, okay. All right. All right. All right, so you will, uh, announce the name of your vi violin on Monday. Okay. All right. Okay, well, that's good. So, this weekend, you're going to think about a name, uh, the name of your violin. Yes. Ah, okay. All right, well, that's good. So, and, what uh, else did you do today? I went to the school today, and um, the next week, I will go to the school every day. Oh, next week. Yes, and I oh. also... Um, I also uh, there uh, there also took part the good name name good neighbors that is good neighbors is um, when the when ha, when it's poor people we should give a letter and they are we help that poor people. Mm. I see. And um, right. this year's poor people is Hatsan. Um, mm -hmm. he he is, uh, twelve years old. Twelve years old. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. And what are you planning to do with the the tomato? Are you going to eat it? Oh. Uh, I don't know. There, there is a, a have a tomato, but when there are tomato, I will eat. <laughs> uh, um, hold on, so please. Uh, I'll sure, show no you problem. that um, tomato. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, this is my mato. Oh, that's your mato. Ah, oh, okay. So there's no uh, fruit yet. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Okay. Wow. So, uh, 
What do you plan to do this weekend? Um, actually, oh, I will go to the, um, finally, I can go to the swimming pool to, uh, tomorrow. Oh. So, I will go to, uh, my family will go to the swimming pool tomorrow. I see, okay. You will, you will swim tomorrow. Yes, but um, ah. but uh, sadly, when we are late, then we can't swimming tomorrow. Why? Because there, um, they can't in swimming pool a lot of people. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so, uh, there's only a limit on yes. uh of how many people can go swimming. Yes. Why not go to the water park instead? Um, there when um they are opened, then um they go to uh, go to the people a lot, so we can't go to the swimming uh that water park. I see. Okay, so you can go to that swimming pool. Uh, yes. You can go to the water park. I see. Okay, well, that's uh, that sad. Well, I hope that you and your family won't be late so that uh, you can go swimming tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay, what else will you do tomorrow? Um, I will... Um, ah, um, I have a, a sad, uh, sad news. Um, sad news. My younger sister and me watch the computer a lot, so we can't, um, watching the YouTube, um, one month, one month. Oh, one <laughs> month. Yes. That's too long. Oh, oh, I see. So when... When will it start? Um, we uh, um, nowadays I started and um, June, June nineteenth we are start and July, um, the finished is July nineteen. But when um in July nineteen we we are watching the YouTube then. Um, there are a lot of the no YouTube. I see. Oh my. Okay. So, uh, so you're not going to, uh, you're not going to watch YouTube for, uh, one month. Yes. Is it okay for you? Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, why is it okay for you? Because um I I can live um without a uh, YouTube. Uh you can live without YouTube. Yeah, uh I I can uh I can live without uh, without a YouTube. I see. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right, it's good to know that you can survive without YouTube. So what are you going to do since you can't watch YouTube already? Um I will go to the uh dinner for after this class and when we all uh, go back on um, come back to our home, um today is opening our um the TV room. TV room. Yes. Oh, but I thought you are not allowed to. You are not allowed to. What's that again? Um, You're not allowed to watch. Oh, but that is only YouTube. We can, um, we can, uh, watching the TV because we are not uh, watching the TV a lot. I see. Okay, so you are not watching TV a lot. That yes. is why you are you are allowed. 
Uh, how about computer games? Um, we can play the computer games because there is a limited time. We we only what uh only play the game the the one hour or the fifty minutes. I see. Okay, one hour or fifty minutes. Yes. I see. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Now let's proceed to chapter six, lesson three. <clears throat> chapter six, lesson three. Important objects and places. Okay. All right. Can you please read it? And while I'm while you're reading, I'm going to pause the video, my video for a while because I'm going to put this on my eyes. Okay. Okay. Landmarks All right. okay. are often the most visited um, places in a country. This includes buildings, um, monuments, and other structures. They, um, these objects have an importance for each country that they belong to people build these structures for different different reasons let us look at some of them the pyramids of egypt the pyramids were built to protect the body of the dead um paro the paro is the leader Ever. of um Pero is the leader of the Egyptians during the early, early times. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China was built to protect the Chinese Empire from outside invert invaders. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore was built to promote um, tourism in America. Okay. Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was built by an emperor as a symbol of his love for his wife. The Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge was built for pass fa passage away of cars connecting San Francisco Peninsula and the southern and of Marin County. These structures have different uses, but they also serve as symbols that identify the place. They represent the cultural beliefs or values of the country where they are built. An example in is the Eiffel Tower of Paris, France, the tower was built to celebrate the back uh, the uh, the 100th year anniversary of the French Revolution. Over time, it has become a well-known symbol of Paris. Another is a Statue of Liberty in New York City, which has become a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. De democracy. Oh, okay, so that's the end. So, number one question. Can you give me other landmarks that you want or that you would like to visit? Um, I want to visit visit uh, Taj Mahal and the uh, Eiffel Tower. Why? Because my younger sister like to the par French French party, uh, French mm -hmm. party, and um, of course she want to see the Eiffel Tower. 
and I want to see the Eiffel Tower and I, I've i never seen the Taj Mahal like palace so I want to see a palace too. I see, okay. What are some landmarks that can be found in your country? Um, we can found uh, um, the Seoul and Tower and the uh, um, Chomsung De and uh, there is the um, Gyeongbokgung too. Gyeongbokgung Palace. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Aside from representing the beliefs and values of a country, what else makes landmarks important? Uh, we can, we we have, um, we should have a, uh, um, respect our landmarks. Uh, our landmarks, of course, another landmarks and. We love that landmarks. Mm, we should love that landmark. Yes. Mm, I see. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's go to vocabulary check. Encircle the letter of the correct answer, number one. These are often the most visited places in our country. It is letter B. Uh, letter B, landmarks. Number two, they are people who attack another country. Um, it is um, letter A, invaders. 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 Yes, he is the leader of the Egyptian during the early times. Letter B, Paro. Um, Paro. Hey, Pharaoh. Yes, okay. Number four. This is, the, this is a landmark built to protect the bodies of deceased pharaohs. Um, Great Wall of China. No, it is no, the uh, Pyramid of Egypt. Ah, I thought it was Mount Rushmore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A stone or a building built to remember a person or an event. It's a mountain, right? No, it is... A bridge. A monument. A monument. Yes. Okay. All right, good job. All right, so mini quiz. Put the number of each landmark's picture into the boxes beside their name. Um, the first, uh, the Pyramid Egypt is... What number? Uh, number six. Number six. Okay. And All the right. Taj Mahal Touch. is number one. Number one. Oh, I thought it's number four. No, it is the Statue of Liberty. Ah, okay. What about the Eiffel Tower? Where's the Eiffel Tower? It is number three. Ah, number three. I thought it was number five. No. <laughs> okay. What about the Golden Gate Bridge? It is number two. Number two, of course. Okay. Mount Rushmore. Oh, I think it's number six. I think it's a mountain. Uh, no, it is oh, no. N number five. Ah, number five. Okay. What about the Great Wall of China? Well, I think it's number four. Uh, because it seems like he's a Chinese. No, it is oh, no. Uh, number seven. Ah, number seven. It oh, I thought that was Mount Rushmore. Uh, 
It, okay, um, that, what about the Statue of Liberty? Liberty. It is number four. Number four. Okay. All right. The Pyramids of Egypt. Number six. Taj, Taj Mahal. Yes. Number one. Eiffel Tower. Number three. Golden Gate Bridge. Number two. Uh, Mount Rushmore. Number five. Great Wall of China. Number seven. And then Statue of Liberty. Number four. All right. So, what is your favorite landmark? My favorite landmark is um, Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty. Why? Because the uh, Statue of Liberty is um, very big, huge, and uh, beautiful. Very beautiful. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So it's beautiful. Why is it beautiful? Because um, she hands up the lamp and uh, it it's the crown is beautiful too. Uh, the crown. Her crown is very beautiful. Yes. Oh, what about her dress? Oh, it is beautiful too. Oh, have you been to New York already? No, I've never been to the another country. Oh, but would you like to go there someday? Yes, I want to oh. go to the Finland, uh, Finland most. Oh, why? Because when it's summer, we can we can see the uh, uh, the bright sky at um bright sky at the night, and when it's the winter, we can go to the um Santa um, Santa town Santa village, and when it's mm -hmm. the um, winter it is um also we can see uh aurora oh i see okay all right uh where where else i mean what after finland finland yes so after that where will you go next um i want to go to the friends and also i i want to meet my cousin so the philippine i i heard that there they a lot of the a lot of swimming pool there are a lot of the swimming pool oh where the um uh, the, is it a lot of um, banana in uh, the Philippines? Yes, where there are a lot, there are lots of bananas wow. in the Philippines. Yes, so if you're going to be here, I'm going to give you a lot of bananas. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that you can bring to Korea in mangoes too. Wow. Yeah, I have a mango tree at home. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, supposed to be I have two mango trees at home, but the other one died. Yeah. Oh. So I only have one mango tree. I have one avocado tree. I have one jackfruit tree. What else? Now uh, that's it. And I think uh, I also have banana trees. Wow. When I am. Yeah. Um, grow trees at home. Um, it is not apartment. Then my mom want to raise the apple tree. Apple tree. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Yes. yes. And also right. now we raise a uh, watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Yes. 
Oh, wow, that's great. Okay, well, take good care of your watermelon. Yes. Okay, water it every day or, yes, take care of it so that it will grow nice and healthy. Okay. Okay, but our time is up, Dorothy. So please check the MP3 that I sent you. Yeah, so if you can rate five, tar five stars, you can do it. But if you can't, it's okay. And please check your feedback for a new homework, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye, Dorothy. Bye-bye.